Alright, so welcome back to our studio series of our new launch review. So if you haven't caught our show flat tour, you can click it down in the link below and check that out. Gavin and myself will take you around the Momentum Plug show flat and to share with you a bit more about the site model. But back here today in our PLB studio, we're going to talk more about some of the layout comparisons as well as the site map where a lot of these uh, nitty gritties are located in Momentum Park. One. On level 2, you actually have height advantage. Based on your current uh, property portfolio, what is the level of risk? Momentum Park was a land that was bidded for in the late 2017. In late 2017, uh, the Kingsford developers actually paid about $830 million for the land itself and there was also additional costs involved with topping up the lease as well as uh, intensifying the plot ratio. So in totality, they put in a good $1.34 billion uh, which sets us at about an estimate break-even of about 1482 per square foot per plot ratio. So uh, later on, we can share with you a bit more about the pricing as well, so stay tuned. This development sits on a 680,000 square foot of land, so it's a very huge piece of land and in total, there are going to be 1682 units, uh, residential plus 8 commercial strata titled shops with one being designated for a restaurant and the other seven shops will probably be some retail stores we're probably going to see some like a mini mart maybe some additional ancillary services for the residents that live in Normanton Park itself the 1462 units are spread across 1440 units of apartment units in addition there are also 22 strata landed houses predominantly terraces and corner terraces Right, so if you look at the site map right over here, we'll see that there are actually four different facings in Normanton Park. So towards the south and southwestern direction is where you get the Greater Southern Waterfront, as well as your sea views and of course some views of the Kenridge Park. And uh, along Science Park Drive towards the north, uh, that's where you get the city view as well as your uh, one north area. And to the northeast, you have the Ayar Raja Expressway which is your AYE so it's very convenient so once you actually exit from the AYE itself you'll see this entire um, frontage of Momentum Park on your left hand side the fourth facing which is towards the right of course you have the entire city view that fronts towards the northeastern areas Let's have a look at the location now. Normanton Park actually is uh, being boasted by a lot of greeneries and park right beside Normanton Park towards the south, there is a side gate leading out towards the entire Kenridge Park which is this whole portion over here. Right beside Kenridge Park, further down you also have the Hot Park and then towards further leftwards you have more greenery as well, that's the West Coast Park that you see. If you look further downwards towards the south, which is where the Greater Southern Waterfront is, down towards the eastern side, you also have Mount Faber Park and Teluk Blanga Hill Park. So I think this entire region has a lot of greenery going for it, which is why I think the developers have also worked together with their architects, built in this Amazonian concept going along the entire um, development. What's interesting about Normanton Park is that if you look towards the entire northern cluster, that is where the One North and in future the Greater One North is going to be. The Greater One North consists of the entire One North region together with Science Parks 1 and 2, also inclusive of the NUS University of Singapore right there. So this entire region will make up the Greater One North. And of course in the regions, you also get a lot of new tech firms coming in. Shopee is already headquartered right over there in the One North region and also Grab's uh, HQ is going to be located right there. So in totality, if we look at it, this entire Greater One North is going to provide close to about 100,000 new jobs. So you're going to get definitely a very strong tenant pool looking in this area. Uh, why do we say that? Because right now, if we look in the northern part of One North, there are only predominantly four condominiums right there. Uh, Dover Park View, you have Heritage View which, which are a bit older and the slightly newer ones would be the Rochester which was completed in 2011 
as well as uh, one north residences. So if you look at the one north MRT within a 1.5 kilometer radius, these are mainly the four residential developments in the area. The latest one being the Rochester, which was completed in 2011. And this was launched actually for sale in 2007. So in the last 14 years, with the Rochester being the latest one, being the newest project which was launched in 2007, for 14 whole years, there was actually no new launches in this entire vicinity, right? Which is why I think Momentum Park is something interesting to look out for if whether you're looking for an investment, right? Because the tenant pool demand is definitely going to be strong, especially with 100 over 1,000 jobs being situated in this area. Uh, or if you're looking for own stay, then I think the place has also good views to boast from almost all four directions. Something interesting to note is also the developer has specified that for all the block, all of them are built on elevated kind of a status, meaning they are lifted off the ground a good 19 to 20 meters. Almost all the units there would enjoy some form of view, right? Uh, even the lower floor unit, right? So we'll dive a bit deeper later into some of the pricing. So of course, I think a lot of you who have been following the news about Normentum Park, you know that in April of 2019, the COH, which is the controller of housing, actually issued a no-sale license to the developer. And what that meant was that they couldn't sell units prior to its uh, TOP, basically achieving the temporary occupational permit. So what is the impact of that is that now they actually have a shorter runway to sell their units because with each residential plot of land being bought by a developer, they only have five years to basically sell out all their units to kind of reimburse or claim back their ABSD. So right now, uh, the latest news was that in December of 2020, the controller of housing actually gave a conditional green light to the developers to start selling their units for Normanton Park. But this came with a condition which meant that all the units had to be issued with a quality mark assessment certification before the entire project could actually achieve TOP. This is something new uh, in the entire uh, new launch landscape. So in the next couple of years, I think Momentum Park that would have a higher quality of units uh, being built because of this quality mark certification that has to be issued for every single unit in the project. So as of 20th January today, Momentum Park was actually launched for sale last weekend. So right now, if you look at this site map right here, I think something interesting to note is there are a lot of red squares. What we have kind of done is to help all our audience to visualize. Basically, we see a lot of red squares being pumped out along the southern side of the development. Uh, what this means is that because this area is the one that's going to front the entire sea view, the greater southern waterfront, so a lot of the units here would have been snapped up. And I think looking at the pricing, some of them are actually uh, more of the premium stacks as well. In fact, a lot of them that were sold were actually the penthouse units. So probably the ground sensing is that some of the buyers here, since they're going to enjoy sea view, they want to make sure that they are right on top of the entire development. So all these that were sold, a lot of them are actually the penthouses. And then if we move further upwards, there are also some that were completely sold out. Uh, like for example, these two stacks over here. So in stack 1 and stack 8, these are the one bidders. So fully sold out. They were priced at about, I think, 900 odd thousand dollars. So fully sold out, meaning the market now has already accepted these new pricing here for Normanton Park. Also further uh, in Block 61, stack uh, 79 and 80, fully sold out. Um, in fact, over this one weekend, Normanton Park being the first new launch of 2021 has a sellout rate of about 30%, which I think is quite a feat, you know, coming out of COVID and Circuit Breaker and all that. Fret not because uh, Normanton Park has 1,800 odd units. There are still 60% of the units available for your choice. If you want to find out a bit more, do feel free to contact us. Coming back to the site plan right now, let's have a further look. So I mean, if we look at the unit separation in the development, the distribution, right, we see a very good spread across the one beders, which take up close to about 30%. Uh, the two beders also taking about 32% of it and the three beders having about 28% of the unit types right here. So if we look at where block 45 is, there are a few stacks being colored out red because these are already sold out. So these are at stack one and stack 08, those are your two beta um, compact type of stacks. So I think why some of these stacks were um, hotly contested or bought out is because this block is actually set back about 100 meters from the AYE. At the same time, this is also facing towards the northeastern direction. There's no west sun and you also probably get to enjoy some of these city views uh, looking into the north area as well. 
Now, because at Momentum Park, you actually have a sprawling land size of 680 odd thousand. So how the developers and architects have positioned the blocks is that uh, most of them get to enjoy uh, more privacy. The block to block distance is also great. For example, if you look right in the middle where block 55 is located, the distance if you look into the pool view, uh, the next block is actually almost 200 meters away. So definitely privacy is something of consideration there that they have planned for. Even the ones that looking back to back, if you look at the bottom where block 47 to 53 are located, they are placed in this uh, diagonal staggered method. So the units do not actually face into one another. Their windows are not directly uh, looking into each other as well. Even on the other side where block 57 to 61 is located, this is also replicated. So no units are directly head on looking into the next block. Right? So I think it's a very good mix. So whether you're looking for investment type of property, a smaller type of unit, or one for your own stay with at least three bedrooms, Momentum Park, I think, would definitely cater to your needs. As we talked about earlier, the entire southern side would be facing Greater Southern Waterfront. But what else is there? All these little red ones that you see are the 22 strata houses. Starting off with a Block 45, that is the block that actually is the closest to the AYE. But the developers have buffered in a distance of 100 meters from the expressway, meaning that is the closest distance that this block is at. So I think the road noise would be significantly cut down as well due to this buffer that has been put in place. Facing wise, the west is on my left hand side. So that's where you probably have some of the western sun facing units towards the left. So when looking at the site plan, I think what everybody wants to know is where is the electrical generator set or the bin center. After you actually enter the development, the driveway in, that's actually where all your electrical generator set, your bin center is located. Very cleverly placed because it's actually away from all the residential units is parked right beside your tennis courts and where your basketball court is. In front of Stack 45, you also get a lap pool and some other water features located right there as well. Now, another thing to look out for when you're looking at the site map is you want to know where is the most premium facing. Then we need to find where the biggest units are. The unit sizes actually range from one bathers all the way to five bathers as well as strata houses. But for apartment status, the five bathers is the biggest. So if you have a look right over here, the biggest units will usually enjoy the most premium or the best facing the entire development. The Greater Southern Waterfront is where everybody wants to be facing for Nomenton Park. Some of the four bathers, they're also located in that similar view. They're the ones in purple, so at stack 41 and stack 50. Some of the four bathers located with that sea view. Five bathers are located at stack 38 and 47. We also see a lot of uh, one bathers facing the internal views located at block 53 and 55 as well as 50. I think the pricing range wise, they are starting from about 1.1 to 1.15 for block 53 and 55. And then at block 57, that's slightly lower. Uh, those are about 1.0 something million. If you look at the site plan that we have here, there are actually little dots that have been indicated. So the red ones are the ones that have almost been fully sold out. Yellow ones being about 50% sold out and the green ones still having more availability of units. So if you look at the red dots, we also notice not just the sea view facing ones, the 150 meters lap pool, those are also mostly sold out already at stacks 37, stacks 36, 45, 4, 43, 42, and so on. Basically, the entire belt that's facing the 150 meters lap pool seems to be very well sought after. So I think another block that is quite popular seems to be at block 61. Basically, the three beta stacks at the four corners uh, stack 77, 78, as well as uh, 73 and 74. Most of the units there have also been taken up. So when you actually have a consult session with us at Property Living Brothers, of course, we can find out live and updated what are some of the availability of units. I think there's still a good um, amount of units left, but probably at least 50, 60% of it um, still available. So just to further illustrate where all your tenant pools are going to come from, if we bring out the URA master plan, basically all the blue color shaded ones are commercial zoned land. Uh, some are already developed with commercial buildings right there, uh, like your business parks as well as in the one north area. Uh, the white sites that have been circled are actually subjected to planning, but they can be anything. So it can be anything from residential all the way to um, commercial as well. So I think that gives you a good spread of tenants in future when this one north actually develops further.
So for layout comparisons, if you want to have, understand more detailed information and analysis, do head over to our PLB editorial blogs on our website. So we'll insert the link right down below as well. So right now, I think we've come to the end of this uh, review series in our PLB studio. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to also catch our show flat tour in the link right down below if you want to take a look at how some of show flat units look. So there is a one beta, two beta, a three beta, as well as a five beta where we took you through a very detailed tour of each and every show flat right there. Also, uh, we had a walkthrough with the site model. So uh, to explain where are some of the key amenities and facilities in One Momentum Park itself. So I hope you enjoyed this new launch review here with us at Property Lane Brothers. Uh, I'm Mark and I hope to see you soon.